everybody, it's your host with the most. Let's start this one off by saying, lesbian American rapper to perform in Jamaica at Brit Jam. I know y'all saying, ah, oh, what's the big news, whatever. Anyways, the star run the story and I thought it was interesting because I want to hear what the people have to say. Since recently I did a video on Gage, Gage put out a song, right? And that song had to do with, um... Alkaline, the song called Bad From When, where Gage said, You can't bad no one, but to wash back then, right? And I also went and found the excerpt clip because there were many Alkaline fans that were saying, Alkaline never said anything like that. So I found the excerpt clip and put it in that video. Go look at that video that I did where Alkaline was talking about Bati Wash and uh, Brata, right? So here we are now where. DJ ZJ Zoom is saying that they are booking Young Emmy for performance at Bridge Jam in Jamaica. So this, the, the event reads like this. Event manager and record producer Zoom has announced that he will be bringing lesbian rapper MA to Jamaica for Bridge Jam 2017. The event is slated to take place between March 8th and the 14th. According to the promoter, his target audience is excited about the rapper's visit and people are not concerned about her sexual orientation. I guess that's the same reason people are not concerned if Alkaline sing about how I'm like Brata and Batiwash. Um, and the same reason why they would not be concerned about this. Like I said before, it was not to put anybody down. We can't put anybody down by repeating what they themselves said. What I can do is draw an analogy to say things like Hmm, Jamaica has really changed over the years. I am going to show people that Jamaica has become way more homosexual friendly than a lot of people would like to admit. Since online, the climate seems to still be so, um, so, so, so not accepting of homosexuality and homosexual lifestyle. If you put up anything about the homosexuals, homosexual lifestyle, everything, you, you get a lot of bottom on for dead, bottom on for get burned out, gunshot in them head, not the lesbian girl. You get all these comments so you would think, damn, Jamaicans hate homosexuals, right? Right. Well, with an artist like Alkaline, in that video, like I also said before, I never thought I would see the day where a reggae dancehall artist would sing and even think to put something like Batiwash and Brata in a him song, in his lyrics to say it's something that him get from a girl and him like. And it is widely received and accepted by a huge portion of the dance hall uh, fan base then, right? So now, following on the heels of doing that video, here comes this in the star, Jamaica's credible news carriers or news deliverers then. Event manager and record producer Zoom has announced that he will be bringing lesbian rapper Young M.A. to Jamaica for Brit Jam 2017. The event is slated to take place March 8th to the 14th. And according to the promoter, Zoom said that his target audience is not concerned about the rapper's sexual orientation. Ooh! <laughs> People don't care about her sexual preference. They just like her music. This is the first lesbian rapper to dominate the rap scene. So this is history in the making. And Brit Jam is the first to bring her to Jamaica, he said. Stick up in again. Now, if y'all don't remember, man, how soon we forget, Queen Latifah. Queen Latifah is a big lesbian, and Queen Latifah dominated the rap scene back in the day, right? So, I don't know if she's the first to dominate the rap scene, but she's the first in modern times then. Because Queen Latifah, them are back in the day, right? And Queen Latifah was also not openly homosexual. She was not openly gay. They had to go catch her over in Ibiza, Spain, somewhere on vacation on a secluded island somewhere with a girl, wrap up a tonkis, or on a yacht somewhere out in the middle of the ocean to get, to get 
uh, to get video clip and pictures of her caught in the act to say yes, she take woman or a woman she do with a woman she love. She has no children. She's never been seen with a man or been said to say that this is my partner and we're in a relationship. So I guess Young M.A. is the first female openly homosexual, openly lesbian to come out and say that she's that. And she even raps about it in her songs about how girl give her head and all this other stuff. And <laughs> those are the lyrics that are going to be on stage in Jamaica. So I am polling the audience right now because I want to hear from everybody else. What are your thoughts on this? Right? People don't care about her sexual preferences, Zoom said. He Zoom said she had the first lesbian rapper to dominate the rap scene. And this is going to make history. Let me answer my phone real quick. People don't care about her sexual preference is what Zoom is saying. She's the first lesbian rapper to dominate the rap scene and Zoom is saying that they will be making history. I don't know if this is the kind of history that they want to be making, but he is very well aware of it because he's saying they'll be making history because she will be the first openly lesbian performer or rap performer or American performer or female to perform on a stage in Jamaica, right? All right. Zoom also said that based on his market research, male and female fans are like, welcome the rapper's visit. So, in other words, Zoom is saying that he went around Jamaica polling, asking people, just like I'm doing right now to see what my audience thinks about it. He went around asking people, both male and female, how you feel? So how you feel about a lesbian to come perform here upon stage? The girl, and them, they're probably saying, which lesbian? And then pull up something on his social media thing on his phone, which everybody has nowadays, and your little smartphone, and him said, young M.A. man, see that? Ooh! And, <laughs> and he, Zoom is saying that everybody has said, they don't mind, they don't have a problem with it, right? People don't care about her sexual preference, they just like her music, right? He said that, however, he admitted that if he had booked a male gay rapper, then perhaps his audience would have raised some serious concerns. Make we talk about that little bit now. So, what I have found, and I've said this before in other videos, I've seen Jamaican men who always, I mean, no, yeah, here we go again. I've seen Jamaican men who always are talk about how suck pussy boy, boy, I forget, burn out, right? But at the same time, those are the same guys that endorse getting head or fellatio from a female. So them talk enough and them endorse when time man sing about girl for suck off them wood and them something there. But then when it comes to a uh, man I say, yo, girl pussy forget nyam. Yo, suck pussy boy, you forget shot in your mouth, gun shot in your head, you forget butt out. So <laughs> here we are where he's talking about how accepting they are of hmm, how things have changed. How accepting they are of a lesbian rapper coming to Jamaica to perform on a huge stage like Brit Jam, but had it been a gay man performing, they would have had a huge problem with it. Now, what says you, my SoFlo TV audience, we want to talk up the thing them, I'm going to hear one officer about this. We tend to accept females in Jamaica. Once it's a woman, it's fine with us. We don't care if the woman one there with next woman, as long as it's a woman. That's what they're saying. Right? But if it was a man, I know some people wouldn't like it at all, is what he said. Young M.A. is known for songs like Quiet Storm and the one that SoFlo TV keeps saying, Ooh! <laughs> Which peaked at number 19 on the Billboard Hot 100 charts last year. So, in closing, let's read a little bit more. The event will also feature other international acts such as Genuine, Genuine I sing from when? I don't know when Jamaica going to stop spending them big money here for bringing them all broke down foreign artists here yeah, who in America, them not even known as nobody anymore. But them are carry them go, Jamaica going to be headliners when Jamaica have so many talented uh, That's a whole nother friggin' story to talk about, man. But anyways, head, headliners will be like Genuine and Bernice. Who the frig is Bernice? There will also be performance from local acts. This is what I want to hear about. Ding dong, I get up on the stage. Tantanta Black, Tifa, I act in, 
Conscience and Shensia all gonna be performing on the same stage as this openly gay or homosexual artist. Now, before I come burn out SoFlo TV, right? Muta Baruka said something the other day when here Muta said, yo, um, sometimes I'm used to wonder, and I used to wonder too, when I see an artist go up on a stage, like, like for instance now, not saying it has happened, I'm giving an example. When you have an artist go up on a stage, and the artist sing about body wash, hood suck body wash water brata, and then right after the artist they don't perform, you have Capitan come out, and I talk about, go so, go so, the fire is burning, I say, <laughs> I say, yo, did, did Capitan not study the lyrics of the artist that is performing on the same stage as he is? Or does he just look at it like, um, he might come pick up a paycheck? Cause, now people can say things right now about a person like, say, I act here now. I'm gonna go up on the stage now with an openly lesbian performer, right? Is there anything to be said about him or does he need to just not pay it no mind, go up there, don't think, collect him, check and go about him business. I'm going to end it right there, man. It's so Flow TV. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Y'all know how the thing go already. I mean, I think outside the box. I mean, I talk about the things, them. I'm out. Peace. Hi. <laughs>